In this video, we are going to see the kinematic processing, or also known as PPK, of the PPK Phantom 4 Pro Kit in Emlyn Studio. Let's go to the software. We are in the Emlyn Studio version 10 software interface. The first thing we must do is choose the option that says Drone Data PPK. We are going to give a brief review of the data we have and the photographs in the same way. We go to the folder. This is the folder where on the one hand we have the GNSS data from both from the base and from the rover which is the rich M2 module and we also have the images captured with the Phantom 4 Pro aircraft. In total we are talking about 133 images but let us highlight that these two here, the first two images, are the ones that are made as a test to verify that the photo sensor is working properly. It is what we always recommend doing, uh, take about two images as a test, right? Uh, the rest of the photographs starting from the number uh, 85 are already photographs that correspond to the photogrammetric flight. Done. So with this brief summary of the data, we are going to perform PPK processing and photo geotagging. So in this option, Drone Data PPK, we are going to check or choose the kinematic option. In this drone tab, we are going to insert the rover data, right? Uh, that is the rich M2. So we select here and we go and we go to find where the data is. In this case, we go to rover and we have the data collected in native dot ubx format we open it and mlin studio is automatically converting it to a rhinex format file it asks me for an antenna height and the antenna height after installed uh, we are leaving this ppk phantom 4 kit in a standard and unique way at 0 0.17 so here we choose the antenna model in this case we are talking about an m2 and i repeat the installation of the antenna in the phantom 4 has a height of 0 0.17 meters that is 17 centimeters we store and now we have to insert the data of the base station. We click and we look for the base at the time. In base, we have our observation file. We choose and open. Dunk. So now Emlyn Studio allows me to enter the precise coordinates of the base location. For this, we have to choose drop down and choose the latitude, longitude, height, height option in decimal format. We can choose the degrees, minutes, and seconds format as the decimal degrees option. I stick with this option and we're going to insert the absolute coordinates of the base location. For that, we rely on this technical sheet that we have as the location of the base. This is the sheet which contains the relevant information of this point 
that is used as a base for the photogrammetric flight with Phantom 4 Pro with the PPK kit. So here we have the relevant information. This point is located in the WGH84 datum reference system. These are the absolute coordinates in latitude, longitude, and WGH84 ellipsoidal height. So here uh, I'm going to copy this latitude value. Let's go to Endlet Studio and paste here. I'm going to now copy the longitude and paste it here. Finally, I will copy the ellipsoidal height and paste here. Mnet Studio automatically recognizes the antenna model of the base. In this case, the antenna model is GMX Zenith 35 and the instrument height is 1.505. Indeed, they are the correct values for the base antenna model and also the instrument height is appropriate. If we want to edit the height of the instrument, we can go to edit and change that value. In this case, you are automatically importing it from the right next header of the base point. With this information, we now have to insert the navigation data. We can click here and automatically Emlet Studio imports the rover's navigation data. In this case, I transform it to Rhinex and the navigation data becomes that P, right? Uh, it's a mixed navigation data. So we can open again and voila. Now we are left to do a little configuration here in the tools tab. To do this, we go to the bottom and in the time format option, we are going to choose and confirm that we are going to find ourselves in the first option, that of GPST second. That way, our event interpolation software will receive it properly. So, we choose that option in the same way for the type or filter, we can choose a combined or forward option. By default, it is in forward filter. We can, in case we don't have enough fixed solution, we can pass it to combine and we're going to leave it in forward. The folder where the results will be stored will be the same as the one we are using to import the points. In this case, if we want to change the folder, we go to the option and choose another folder. In the same way, we can change the name of the output file. In this case, we're going to leave it as default and we're going to record. Fill all this data we will start the processing by clicking on process. Here we will wait a short time until it finishes solving all the epochs. Done. Then Mnet Studio has finished the kinematic processing. And as we can see it at the bottom, it, tell, it tells me that we have a fixed percentage of 100%. Everything has been resolved properly. We can see that trajectory of the aircraft all in green because they are positions, uh, you look right, 
uh, that is to say precision of approximately two centimeters. As a less instance, we can go to the working folder. We can see several files that Emily Studio has generated, right? First of all, a folder where the Rhinex data is located. And also, uh, two dot pause files. The first one contains the solution of all the processing times. And this events pause, events pause file, which is the most relevant, that contains the solution for each event of the Phantom 4 Pro, that is, each solution for each photograph. And then later in our event interpolation processing software, we need to input this pause file and this events pause file. That way we can correct the delay of the photo sensor. In the same way, we can continue processing the geotagging of photographs with Mlit Studio. We return to the interface and click here to select the folder that contains the photographs. Emily the Studio tells me that it expects uh, the folder to contain 133 photographs. We click here. We look for the folder that contains these photographs. We enter images here, fly to, and we select done. There is no observation, it means that the folder contains 133 photographs. We are going to leave this option deactivated here and we proceed to geotag the photographs. We wait a short time. Done. We can see the results folder. Emlit Studio has also generated a new folder which contains geotag photos ready uh, to enter the post processing software. It is necessary to mention that this folder will contain photographs with precise coordinates, but that do not have the delay correction of the photo sensor. But in the same way, we they can be used for processing in photogrammetric software such as IGSoft MetaShape, Pix4D, among others. If we want to correct the delay of the photo sensor and improve the accuracy of the images, we are going to use these two files in the UAV PPK event interpolation software and we'll see it in the next video. Thanks for your attention.